friendship aside, um, you know, I just, I've been in awe of his work for so many years and to finally be able to work with the person and get to know the man and the human being, I, I'm just even more in awe. Usually you don't like the person you've been idolizing, <laughs> but this, this man I, I, I adore very much, but his work, I'm just, I've never worked with someone who does it the way that he does with such openness and kindness and he's collaborative, he wants everyone's opinions, he wants everyone's help. There's no ego, and if he has it, you don't see it. And it's a rare quality, and I'm just so so proud, so proud to be doing it. And we did a little quiz with him today, and yes. he asked who would be the what, last person to set. He said it was him. Is that oh true? my gosh, he's on Mexico time all the time. <laughs> it's like, manana, manana. He's always the last to set, always the last to arrive. Yeah, wow. he was honest about that one. Who took direction first? No, none. No, none. You can't pick a favorite. No, that's what I mean, none. Oh. No, no. Terrible. 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 <laughs> Who was more likely to flub their lines? Who? Who is more likely to flub their lines? Flub the lines. Yeah. You, could, you probably couldn't even keep him on script, could you? But when he gets it, he, he has it right, he really nails it. It's amazing. Who took longer um, in hair and makeup? Obvious. Girls. Of course. Of course. And third last one. Me. I, I see a lot of these people uh, who are involved with the DGA at, at events, and uh, but it's it's all very informal. It's it's fun when, when everybody gets dressed up, and and uh, there's a lot of camaraderie among directors. You know, the, the award season always talks about who's winning, who's losing, but honestly, uh, this group of people is always very supportive of one another, and I think everybody's just happy to be uh, to be rubbing elbows, and we all respect each other's work so much. It's great to have an evening where you could all hang out and, and catch up with one another. Is there anyone in particular that you're most looking forward to seeing tonight? I don't know because you know it's so many probably a, a, a studio head that could give me a film deal <laughs> yes. so I could direct and produce these movies, direct, like produce that. and star. What does it mean to you as actors in her universe um, to have gotten these opportunities from her and to see her recognized I'm so thrilled and so proud of uh, Shonda and Betsy to receive the Diversity Award. I mean, I am a direct result of, of those decisions that, that they've made and that the, the choices that they've uh, decided to take. And um, Kevin, who is one of our actors, is also a director on our show. Yeah, and, you know, to be given those opportunities, I, I, I'm extremely proud to be a part of the show and to know her and their work together. Yeah, I think it's, it, you know, it's, it, the show, in ways, it just created this kind of set the bar I think when it you know and it's, it's continued to do that yeah. and, and diversity and I think it's both in front and behind camera yeah, as well yeah. and of course we're about to come back and see the second half of the season for Ange, which is very sad for us fans that it's your final season um, is there any chance that we'll be seeing you guys reunite again oh that's so that interesting that would be a spoiler wouldn't it <laughs> that this next week of shooting, oh. what would happen? Yeah, this stuff, there's definitely something going there's on. There's definitely something Intensity. that, yes, that we're shooting next week, but we can't tell you what. Well, I'm- Cause it's also, yeah, we can't tell you. It's great though, I gotta tell yeah. you, All it's right. really, really great. great. I actually uh, brought my script oh. because I have so many lines to learn. We gotta learn lines. We gotta learn lines. In between awards, in we between have to awards, like practice. In between awards, we're actually learning yes. our dialogue. Well, Paris Barkley, of course, is the president of the DGA, and he's a friend, and he's uh, actually directing the uh, 100th Glee episode, so he uh, asked me to do it, and um, I was honored. I'm the first woman to host these awards, and wow. uh, the first non-director as well, so it's a lot of firsts, and I'm thrilled. That's wonderful. I didn't know all of those other things. Yeah. That's pretty great. Um, speaking of the 100th episode, you guys are shooting it yeah. right now. Have you finished? We have finished the 100th. I hope I'm not speaking. I'm done anyway. Well, you're so as far as I'm concerned, it's <laughs> over. Um, we're into 101, which is a, a two-parter. It's the second part of the 100th. And we've seen some sneak peek shots from the set, but what can we expect for Sue? Well, for Sue Sylvester, uh, you know, the Glee Club has been disbanded. Um, at, for various reasons, uh -huh. uh, but anyway, go, uh, uh, April Rhodes, played by uh, Kristen Chenoweth, is back, yeah. and it turns out she actually owns the auditorium and gets to say who performs there. So I have kind of a one-on-one a, a -on -one with uh, with uh, Kristen, which is a lot of fun. Be so fun. Yeah, I love working with her. And Gwyneth Paltrow is also in the 101st episode, and actually in the 100th. How honored are you to be recognized by your? Very, very. Yeah, it's a real. Well, it's the 
if you're a director, it's the great honour, isn't it, to be to be nominated by your own guild members and fellow directors. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And, you know, whatever happens tonight, you know, uh, it's just a great honour, and uh, you know, I feel very, uh, very, very blessed. Well, we were very, uh, very impressed with the film that you made. You were working with, um, of course, the marvelous Tom Hanks, yep. and then also nominated for many, many awards. Um, newcomer Mark Adopted. Yes. What was it like working with a lot of actors who are very new to the world? Well, it's exciting, you know, because you sort of see the world through fresh eyes. But uh, and they were so much fun, and they were so well motivated. But they soon caught on, you know. They they soon they soon got the hang of it all. Believe me. Oh, we can definitely tell. Oh tell. yeah. Tonight you're presenting the award to your director, Steve McQueen. I am. What was it like for you? It was extraordinary, you know, and it was a little scary. I don't know if you've met him. He's a a big guy with a serious face but when he smiles the whole world lights up and uh, he's an incredibly gifted director if I could work with Steve McQueen for the rest of my life I'd be a very lucky lady and the fact that I've done it once means that I've you know checked something off the bucket list it means a hell of a lot I mean it's kind of it's a deep it's a privilege um, nine Oscar nominations um, it's a massive feat and I think you know it's a, it's a testament to my crew and cast and what if there's Well, yeah, it's, been ama it's amazing. I mean, uh, I mean, Drew Tajifu has has won a couple of awards on, on, on his road too, uh, and so is Michael Fassbender. So to have that sort of recognition is, is you know, a testament to the, the, you know, their talent, really.